Hey loves and thanks for tuning back into Shana XO Wax and in this video I'm gonna tell you how much I hate my job at Amazon. Yes, um I currently am employed with Amazon.com and I am working at one of their warehouse facilities. Now um I started back in September, so it's been about two, almost three months now. And I think I can give myself an honest review on telling anybody who is considering working at Amazon, specifically the warehouse jobs, I can tell you what you can expect. So um if you don't know, if you're still not informed, Amazon is currently at $15 an hour all across everywhere that, you know, in the U.S. They are currently starting their minimum wage at $15. Now, the con to that is that they took away our stocks and they took away our um, BCP, which is our bonuses they give once a month. Now, um, our bonuses once a month is ba basically calculated based on the attendance, policy, the attendance policy, which they have something called UPT, which is unpaid time. So if you did not use that, then you were qualifying yourself for a bonus. If you did use it, um, it just knocked down your um, bonus by dollars. So I don't know the exact formula calculation, but I just know if you use UPT, then you're not getting the full amount of money that you could have gotten. Anyways, moving forward. So the stock thing, it was like very, uh, um, a lot of people weren't happy, basically. They were not happy. Um, they, they were like, we stuck it out here it's for Amazon for two years just to receive that, ben that benefit and things like that. And then they felt like um, for newcomers, like me included, um, it wasn't fair that we started off with $15 while they had to work two years just to get to $15. Now, mind you that they did get an additional dollar for being being that they are veterans. And I think Amazon is really kind of hearing that because um, I think about a month ago, they did give anyone that was there for a year or more an extra, what, like 30 cents or something, they or 60 cents they gave them. But it's still like people are still saying that it's not enough like it just is what it is i'm personally grateful for it um i'm still able to get my stock i will only get one stock though and i have to be there for two years in order to get it now um it's that's a great still a great advantage but anybody that is employed after november 1st unfortunately you are not qualified to get the stock program now that is just a big con with working with amazon especially knowing what they had before but we were getting paid 13 dollars an hour so yeah and then at that time like my building was just now giving us a raise so we were at 1360 and then out of nowhere we we heard about 15 dollars. so it was just like a whole bunch of controversy and it was just super crazy because i'm just sitting there like well do i still get my stocks and they were like yes and i'm like okay that's good to know Another thing that I hated working about with Amazon is, like, nobody sits down. Like, even from, like, the managers, everybody is constantly on their feet. They are moving. Everything is super fast-paced. Not saying that I don't like the fast pace, but I'm just saying specific jobs at my warehouse, I per like, I don't like. And it's just a little bit too physically draining on my body in particular. But the job that I am um, assigned to do every day, I am perfectly fine with. It is, um, it's a little tedious, but it is not as bad. So basically, I am a sorter. They call me a sorter. So basically, I take boxes off the line. I cut them open with the box cutter. Mind you, I always have my gloves on. Big tip, they will write you up for any little thing, especially when they want to let go of a few people. If they don't see you with your gloves on, they're automatically going to write you up. They're not going to warn you. They're not going to tell you. They're going to write you up. And then they might not even tell you that they wrote you up. And then all you know is you get a write-up again, and then they're like, um, you had another write-up not wearing gloves. So just to show you how sneaky and vindictive they can be, they do do that. So basically, like I was saying, I just take boxes off of the line. I put it on my station. So everything is reachable. Like you are not out of your um your green zone, I like to call it, which is like 
basically your arm your elbows are basically to to your your body whatever whatever so as long as it's not too straining on your body so um we take the boxes and it just slides right down to a little box opening station and you just cut your box open you see what's inside you count it you scan it on your scanner and then if the computer is going to tell you um either you're going to go and just immediately sort that box or you're just going to receive that box and then um either you're going to sort it or just put it to outbound so for example i slide a box down it could be a tiny box um and it has 12 items in it it could be nail polishes so we have 12 nail polishes on there now it's there's two things that you need to do because they will write you up for quality and you can't get fired for quality if you have too many errors they will not tolerate that at all because they feel like customer service is very important to them and if they're doing two-day shipping and you ordered a black nail polish and you get a white nail polish that is going to literally upset you because you waited two days on top of that. You could have went to the store and everything, but you waited two days for that specific black polish and you got a white polish. That right there is a bad thing for Amazon. So they totally do not accept that. Um, they give you a few chances, but no. Nah. And I'm telling you guys that being that I am one of their top performers. So like I, I see it, I know it, I've gotten it. So I'm just letting you guys know. So, you get the box, open it, count it up. Now, if it's different color nail polishes, you do have to scan it individually. And if you don't, that is a quality thing on you. And then, if you um, if you put, like, the wrong nail polish, if it tells you to put a hot pink nail polish in a tote and you put a black nail polish in a tote, then that is a quality error on your part. Even if the, um, even if you see that the nail polish is a hot pink and the computer is telling you black and you just go ahead and put it in there anyway, that's still a quality error because you should have never, you should have gave that to a problem solver or some or like an AM or something so they will be able to fix it for you. Um, also, the, another thing about Amazon is it's very tedious on the body. It is very, it's, it's really hard work to be honest with you. When you're done, no matter what position you are, you're going to go home and you're going to be tired. Your body is going to be physically drained. So my thing is you have to get ample rest. You have to be hydrated and you have to be um, just physically fit to do this job because you will quit as soon as you get there because it's it's like no way you can sit down it's like a whole little catwalk and they're just like six no probably like 20 feet above you so you're not getting away with nothing if they see you sitting down they're gonna come right you up so it's just a lot of negative things with amazon um when it comes to that aspect but it is some pros and i will get into that in the next video thanks for tuning in to this video that's all i got stay back for some more juicy and squeeze don't forget to like comment and subscribe okay